Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Oh, I think he's going to make him. I'm assuming you and Berkey will have a spot. I'm guessing I'm hanging out. We'll go to the sanctuary be closed. Yeah. 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 Y
and he'll be a big supporter of the university and all the other programs. I guess I can't say it any better than they said it. Our new head coach, Jeff Duncan. Introducing me to the Kent State baseball tradition and the Kent State baseball family was awesome. He's a very funny guy too as well, and he can make <laughs> me and Berkey laugh on the phone. So <laughs> also want to thank President Lefton for this great opportunity, and I can't thank you enough to lead the baseball program at Kent State University. Purdue University was a great place for my wife and I for four years. It really was. We had great experiences and great teams. Coach Schreiber, Coach McIntyre, Coach Beaker, um, the athletic director, Morgan Burke, the associate athletic director, director excuse me, Tom Ryder. Um, very good experiences. They treated us very well. Um, most importantly, the players. This game's all about relationships. It really is when it's all said and done. And I was able to build such great relationships with these players through recruiting, and developing both on and off the field. And it was, I've gotten a tough couple tough calls here these last couple days, but it was well worth it, and they're, they're gonna move on and be great people. I honestly can say that. John Pulowski gave me my first head coaching job, or excuse me, head coaching job, <laughs> assistant coaching job at Auburn University. Um, Pat Murphy was my head coach at Arizona State University when I was playing. He taught me how to be a winner, how to compete, how to be a complete baseball player and be a winning baseball player. Um, Todd Butler, a mentor of mine, um, head baseball coach at Wichita State right now. He was an assistant at Arkansas and Alabama, and his wisdom is unbelievable, and I passed down to him. My wife, Lauren, my wife of six years, um, she's been with me through thick and thin, and she's a coach's wife. She understands the coaching lifestyle. And I can't thank you enough. You're my rock. You're my strength. My son Bryce, who's nine months old now, and uh, he's not here today. He's with Grandma and Grandpa. And I just got a picture right before I got in here of Bryce, and he's standing up <laughs> today. So in about three months, Berkey, he'll be taking batting practice. On that. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing is, I think he's right-handed because he throws all his toys with the right hand. <laughs> so I'm going to have to make him a left-handed hitter, and he can play every position. The utility guy playing the big ones. Um, my family, my mom and dad especially, they taught me hard work, integrity, and the value of family. And I can't thank them enough. I wouldn't be here today without them. Lastly, I want to thank Coach Strickland. I got an opportunity to talk to him two or three times during this process. And let me tell you, he bleeds Kent State baseball. He's very passionate about Kent State baseball. And what he did and the coaches before him have done has been unbelievable. He's very, very blessed to be here. He carried a big, heavy torch. It was heavy. And I'm ready to take it. I'm ready to take that torch. I really am. And make it a little bit heavier and brighter. Becoming the head baseball coach is a dream come true. This is the greatest day of my coaching career. The greatest day of my coaching career. The reason why? It's an opportunity to lead young men at a, at a program with great tradition. It really does. Great tradition, great alumni, great players, 21 major leaguers, 12 regional appearances, 12 MAC titles, 
okay, and great people that aren't even in baseball anymore that are doing great things. So I understand, I'm well aware of the tradition that's here, and I'm blessed to be here. Assistant coaches, Mike Birkbeck, associate head coach, ex-major leader. He brings instant credibility to this program. He's let me make my transition very easy, and I can't thank you enough. He's an unbelievable pitching coach, probably the best in the country, okay? Best in the country, unbelievable recruiter, developer, and more importantly, he's a great person. He really is. And I can't thank him enough for this transition. His wife, Sue, as well. Alex Marconi, another ex-professional baseball player, brings instant credibility. He's a really good recruiter, was a head coach in the MAC already, was an assistant under Greg Beal's staff at Ball State as well, an ex-Kent State alum, and an assistant at North Carolina, and a tremendous family person, and him and his wife, Mandy. This will be, this staff will be very cohesive. It will be a great communication. We're all gonna work together, and we're all gonna have similar goals. It's also gonna be very family-oriented for our wives. Being an assistant for years, being a servant, okay, serving my, my boss, it takes a lot of work on our families, our wives, and we're gone a lot. And we're gonna, we're gonna invite them into this program as much as possible. My vision is simple. It's not only to maintain the success, but it's to continue to take this little step further, a step further in this program, academically, athletically, and socially. Academically, we're going to continue to graduate players, all of our players. Our APR is going to continue to be high. We're going to establish a culture, and a culture that I learned at Purdue academically, which is a very good academic school. 3.0 or higher will be a goal, and we'll continue to establish goals as we go on. Athletically, we're going to continue to win championships. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to go to Omaha again, too. We'll go to Omaha again. <laughs> The expectation is high here. That's what intrigues me about this job so much. And I'm so blessed. And it takes me back to my Arizona State days as a player. The expectations were so high. And I love that. I love that about Kent State baseball. Socially, we'll be respectful off the field. We'll be hardworking. We'll have integrity. And we'll be leaders on campus and around the community. My coaching style is I believe in people. I believe in lifelong relationships, because at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, that's what it's all about. After all my experiences playing college baseball, having the opportunity to play in the big leagues, coaching, it's about relationships, and I really believe in that. I'm gonna be involved with every aspect. As, as an assistant, I was, I was a hitting guy. I loved being in the cage with the players. I love developing, okay? But I also love defense. I love pitching, okay? 70% of this game is about pitching and defense. I want to bring another aspect on the offensive side to continue to make it better, okay? And that's how we're going to go ahead moving forward. I'm going to ask two things from our players, and that's attitude and effort. Those are two controllables, attitude and effort on and off the field. If you have attitude and effort and a little bit of talent, unbelievable things can happen to this program and to a player individually. Recruiting-wise, we're going to continue to stay in Ohio, Pennsylvania, maybe sprinkle in some other guys from other areas if the guy is the right guy. But I really believe in Midwest, Mid-Atlantic players. They're tough. They're loyal, they're hardworking, and they're overachievers. So I want to definitely stay in that. And that is what Kent State baseball is about. As Kent State baseball fans, I'd like you to jump on board. Let's do more. We have a great history. Let's go a little bit further. The tradition here is unbelievable. I've talked to alumni. I've talked to ex-players. I've talked to current players coming in. Let's go ahead and let's take this a little bit further. Trust 
what we are doing. Let's be loyal. Let's do everything we can for the students and this university. Let's be all we can be and reach in Omaha again. And let's break that door down. It's going to take an extraordinary amount of effort, but I'm, I'm definitely ready for this. And I know our coaching staff is ready for this effort. And as of today, I'm going to leave you with this. The Kent State baseball tradition continues. Thank you. State baseball program on the other side is the chemistry, the team chemistry they have. And that's so huge to take this program to the next level. It's the players. It's about the players. And these guys need to have that chemistry. And it's so important. That's one thing I saw. And then I also saw the hardworking mentality that Kent State baseball is all about. Thank you. Thank you.